So it's Saturday morning, stage five. We're not riding out to the stage today. I've got Ryan, Georgie, Craig with me. We're headed towards... Chop off. Chop off, the sassy <laughs> swap off. Adelaide's fastest bunch ride, which according to Strava is roughly 48 kilometers in length, taking us just over an hour this morning at a 46 kilometer per hour average, but that includes stopping at a traffic light and also for a train. On the screen, we now have a new rear GoPro Mini 11, not sponsored, I paid for it out of my own pocket. And in terms of data, from left to right, you can see the course cadence, speed as kilometers per hour, Power as instant power, not average three second power today for some technical reason I won't bore you with. Average 30 second power and heart rate where my max is circa 183. Now this fast Adelaide bunch ride is called the Sassy Swap Off and was made a lot spicier today I can tell you due to the fact that we're at Australia's biggest bike party, the Tour Down Under or TDU, meaning there's heaps of riders in town from all over Australia and even internationally, which you will see in part two of this video where we ride out to the final stage of the TDU being stage five, Mount Lofty. Now, Adelaide, which is my original hometown, go the almighty crows, might lose a few subscribers for that one, is Adelaide's fifth largest city, approaching 1.5 million people and is surrounded by incredible hills close by, which makes it a very suitable home for Australia's biggest UCI bike race being the TDU. It's also home to the South Australian Sports Institute, which is SASE, which is essentially Australia's hub for elite and Olympic track cyclists. And many years ago now, this ride you can see right here was formed by the SASE riders as a morning training ride, a swap off, i.e. controlled fast rolling turns. And while this ride has evolved to being more open to the public, the origins of this ride continue today. As an example, at the start line, which I personally really appreciated, the locals made it very clear to everyone that this is a training ride, not a race, and the idea is controlled turns. However, given the sheer volume of riders at the start on this particular morning, a call was made to split the bunch in two, those that wanted to go super fast and those that just wanted to go fast. So this is the super fast bunch you can see here and the locals will tell you it was a little out of hand this morning compared to a standard sassy swap off. And that kind of makes sense given the volume of riders and also those unfamiliar with the bunch. But overall the turns were pretty reasonable but they did require some pretty serious wattage. In fact, there were at least four or five, 550 to 600 watt efforts I had to personally make just to roll over the wheel in front of me to keep the speed going. So you'll see me fatigue out in this ride today with a pinnacle moment caught on the rear camera. But it's important to note that when you're rolling turns like this, while power is useful, we're really focusing on speed. You wanna maintain the bunch speed as you roll the turn and dial it back, in this case, a couple of kilometers per hour as the next person rolls through. So as we watch some of these magnificent swapping off turns unfold, and as you see me slowly fatigue out, I did want to personally thank Zwift for inviting me to Adelaide and enabling the opportunity to create content like this and spend a day in the van behind the scenes, which included an interview with the absolute legend, lead out man, Mickey Sharp from AG2R, who discussed how the European pros acclimatize for the Aussie heat. I'll link to that video at the end of this one if you wanna check it out. And I also wanted to say a big, massive thank you to some of the primary team sponsors from the major cycling team in my hometown, the UCI Continental team, backed by the local Sunshine Coast Council, ARA Skip Capital. And I wanted to thank these team sponsors for two reasons, and this is completely an unpaid shout out, just a genuine thank you. Reason number one for allowing two of their riders who are also RCA staff, Craig Wiggins, our social media guru, and Georgie Whitehouse, who's one of our coaches, who you can see rolling around on those magnificent purple Factor Ostros, 
to represent the RCA, i.e. wear our jersey. You see, technically, they should be wearing the ARA Pro Racing Sunshine Coast jersey while at the TDU. This was pretty big for us. We're a small business just trying to get our name out there. And you can also see our head coach, Ryan Thomas, representing the RCA, who used to be the road captain for that team a couple of years ago now as well. And reason number two, I want to thank these businesses for contributing to Aussie cycling development, which is far and few between at the moment. Notably, the team's big sponsor, ARA, who provides comprehensive in-house solutions to large organisations, including turnkey electrical and security services, through to fire protection, building services, energy management, maintenance and cleaning. Our main university, the University of the Sunshine Coast, with its modern high-performance sports facilities and programs focusing on offering athletes an integrated approach to training and studying. Wilson Asset Management, who manage over five billion on behalf of 130,000 retail shareholders. Plasmade, which I personally took on the morning of this bunch ride, a liquid plant-based supplement designed to optimize your blood health. And of course, their kit supplier, Black Sheep, who's had a three-year partnership with ARA and share a combined ethos of innovation and excellence with the ARA team playing an integral role in Black Sheep's product and new tech development. I'll link to all ARA sponsors below and a massive thanks once again. So we're now in a different section of the ride. You can see the loop embedded into the course on the left-hand side of the screen. And we're essentially going around this loop two and a half times, doing a U-turn here, and finish off inside an industrial area. But it was actually in this section of the sassy swap off on each lap where the turns probably did get a little messier, strung out as opposed to a nice rolling flow. And I feel this possibly happened due to a change in wind direction as after the initial surge, the rolling turns recommenced only in an anti-clockwise direction. I'll drop a video in the below description area on how to effectively roll turns into the wind if you want to check it out. And it was actually in this area on the second lap where I was starting to feel it. I'm clearly not as fit as these blokes and I was starting to fatigue out, losing concentration as we came through a roundabout. And it only takes a slight lapse in concentration when you're closer to the front to lose the wheel quickly, which is what I've done here. And you can see coincidentally an ARA, Pro Racing Sunshine Coast rider, Oliver, obviously sees me struggling or maybe it was the drool coming out of my mouth and gives me literally one of the best pushes of my life. I also think the awareness that I'm holding the chain up gave me some extra wattage strength just to get over the wheel. But I can tell you after that turn, which put me deep into the red, I was pretty happy to get this train stop 10 minutes later. And I feel more broadly, if that's you, i.e. you're rolling turns and you're starting to struggle to get over the wheel like you just saw me do, it's time to spend at least five to 10 minutes at the back getting your legs back, assuming they come back at all. That's just consideration to those rolling turns and the entire group. So on the sassy swap off, we end up in an industrial area for a few more solid turns. And despite the fact it's a training ride, of course there has to be a sprint at the end, this time to an old train line, I believe. But personally, as many of you will know, I'm never gonna be up there in a sprint, so sorry you don't get to see the action, but I'll link to the full ride below for those of you who wanna check it out. We're now gonna head off to some scenes of us rolling out to stage five, TDU style. And of course, if you're getting value from this video, please don't forget to drop a like below. So it is Sunday, last stage of the TDU. We've got a cracking day today. We've got Coach Ryan, Coach Georgie, Craig, uh, channel supporters. We've got Mike Pride from Chapter 2 Bikes. It's all happening. What are we doing today, Ryan? Nice cruise up Gorge Road. Massive wind today, beautiful weather. Let's go and watch the finish around Mount Lofty. Cheer on some cyclists, eh? Hey? Let's get into it. Here I am, just trying to be myself. It's a crazy world. Looking to find my place and all they do is Here I am, just trying to run the race In the slow pace, all I'm trying to do is run Not win, and all they do is Mirror, mirror, tell me What is it about them? Living like it's their game Come a 
said it better than me, you'll just end up losing. Mr. Mike Bride, founder of Chapter 2, what are you doing in Adelaide? Aren't you a New Zealander? I am, they let me in through the borders. Shocking, really. Yeah, I've just been hanging out at TDU. We've had an expo, we're showing some new toys and bikes. And today is my day off, and I'm uh, out riding with Cam Nichols and his crew in RCA. How are you enjoying Adelaide Hills? Hills. I don't like hills. Descents, I like. Yes. Right? Those descents are absolutely awesome. Instead of hope, in the light of this moon, my mind keeps searching, but my heart decides thoughts can be cruel, they're not mine to own. The space unravels when you let go. What's yours? It ain't mine. That energy goes today. The feather in the fire will blow it home your way. What's your favorite stage of the tour? Uh, um, probably stage three. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I'm a sprinter. Sprinter dog, yes. Who's your favorite female cyclist? Do you know the answer to this? Yeah. George Whitehouse. Sprinter! Sprinter, yeah. <laughs> You can get it riding, you can get it sliding, you can feel it coming on about four. A hard-earned thirst needs a big cold beer, and the best cold beer is Vic. Vic Bitter. You can get it in a hole, or up a pole. <laughs> 